German residency laws now are just uh, in the midst of making some changes. Uh, this has just been recently. Evidently, they've had a lot of fraud problems with a lot of immigrants coming in. You, you probably remember in the news where uh, Germany was flooding in with a lot of immigrants from Syria and other countries, Libya and other places, and and they weren't checking these people out very good. And come to find out, quite a few of these people were using uh, wrong names. Evidently, they had uh, all kinds of background problems. So uh, now what they're doing is they're putting in laws to actually counter uh, uh, against that. And uh, this just came out April the 19th, 2020. But currently, uh, for foreigners are generally eligible for German citizenship if they've lived in the country for eight years or more. But now under the new law, the years that an immigrant have lived under a false identity would no longer count towards the actual total years required to attain citizenship uh, because of all this fraud that's taking place. And uh, under this draft law, immigrants living in Germany under a false name would later find it uh, extremely difficult to actually become citizens. The government's changes could also hamper children's uh, chances of uh, the citizenship also. Uh, currently, foreigners are generally eligible for German citizenship if they've lived in the country, like I said, uh, eight years or more. But under the new law, the years that an immigrant lived under a false identity would no longer count towards the total years required to attain citizenship. And under these new measures, immigrants found living under a false identity would be denied an unlimited or what's called a permanent resident permit. The law would make the clarification of identity and nationality a prerequisite for attaining permanent resident status. Uh, immigrants could still attain a time-limited residency permit, but the permanent resident status is required for German citizenship. This is how they're actually controlling this. Uh, Germany, actually, in my view, is not a good place to get citizenship and a passport unless you really love socialism and high taxes anyway. Uh, folks, if you don't have a tax problem, that's fine, but if you're uh, you know, if you're if you don't like high taxes and you've got a lot of assets, Germany is probably the last place you want to go to to get citizenship. Uh, of course, a lot of people are going there only because they're, uh, you know, Germany's taking in a lot of uh, immigrants for refugee status. So you know, uh, and this is where a lot of these problems are coming from. Remember, I have actually put in quite a few other videos. Uh, that a fast-track citizenship program, and this is really what you should be looking for, uh, because remember, Germany has, you got a long period of time, an eight-year period before you can even apply, and that doesn't mean you're going to get the citizenship, because Germany is just like a lot of other countries. Uh, they can delay this indefinitely on getting the citizenship and passport. Uh, you can only apply after the eight years is over with. Uh, no telling what can happen, though, you know, during that period of time, uh, or if it would take, you know, 16 or 20 years to get it. I mean, it's, uh, uh, the, the country doesn't have to give you citizenship on a residency by investment or if you've got, if you're actually applying under refugee status. Uh, if you do have the money, the easiest way, the quickest way with a lot less hassles is to get uh, a second passport and citizenship through an economic means uh, where you can get it like in three or four months. Uh, and I put this in a lot, in a lot of videos. Um, and to get a second uh, passport or citizenship, uh, you're a lot better off doing it uh, if you uh, if you do it, you know, in a four month period of time. And but if you do have any sort of civil or criminal issues, that, you know, as far as any past issues, they need to be brought out, you know, on the uh, application, or you can get it rescinded. Uh, or, you know, revoked uh, if you don't do this. But um, uh, these are key things that you need to look at is um, to get a passport where you have visa-free to the uh, Shenzhen countries, but get it in a system where, um, you know, where there's no military requirements. Uh, you want to make sure the country has a good tax system, either territorial tax system or a pure tax haven. Germany doesn't have that. They tax you about 50% of your money that you're going to end up losing out in taxes. And um, uh, I, I would also make sure there's no language requirement because you're going to have to learn German uh, pretty fluent to be able to get that passport and citizenship. 
uh, with uh, a, a Caribbean passport, you don't have to do that. Uh, you know, it's English speaking. All the Caribbean passports for the fast track programs are all English speaking, but there's no test you have to take. You know, it's uh, uh, you can be uh, not know a word in English and still be able to, to get these passports. Uh, and you have visa free to the Shenzhen country. So that this is the key thing you have to look at. Uh, and I'll always verify that you can get dual citizenship. Now, Germany does allow dual citizenship, but so do all the uh, Caribbean fast track programs, too. But, um, you know, you, you don't want to get with a country that only allows uh, one citizenship with that country itself and, and, and no one else. Um, but in, anyway, if you um, and and also make sure that you have uh, visa free to uh, um you know, the Shenzhen countries, uh, and you, you want to look at the total number, but you also want to look at if those countries are, are covered. You don't have to have Australia, the U.S., New Zealand, um, you know, if you can do without those countries, because very few countries have visa-free travel uh, to those countries. Uh, the main ones that I would be looking at are the uh, Shenzhen countries. And if you've got that, and I would look at cost, and I'd look at dual citizenship and make sure they have that. And uh, the, the Caribbean countries check all the boxes. That's what I like about them. But uh, if you want to learn more on how to get your taxes to zero or to how to do this legally, how to get them to zero or close to zero, uh, or to get a second passport in two to three months, do three things. Hit the subscribe button. You'll get new videos as they come out from us automatically. And number two is, uh, I'd like to hear from you. If you got a question or comment, put it in the comment section below, uh, and I'd be glad to try to help you out. And uh, number three is, go to our website, www.citizenshipquickly.com, and fill out a questionnaire at the top of the um, website and send that back to us. Just hit send, and it will come back to us automatically. And we can try to help you from there. We deal with about 67 citizenship by investment and residency by investment countries that I think you'd be interested in learning about. We're partial to the Caribbean because uh, they check all the boxes, especially St. Kitts, uh, because St. Kitts has one of the, uh, it has a lot of visa free countries that you can go to. Uh, but you, there is no income tax, no capital gains tax, no inheritance tax. Uh, you know, it solves a lot of problems that the other countries don't have solved. And, um, uh, but we deal with quite a few other countries, too, if you want to look at other countries also. Anyway, I'll look forward to talking to you on the next video. If we can help you, just let me know. Thank you.